What up, YouTube family? It's your boy D. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it do. And we're here to deliver. So let's get right to it. So my client here usually gets a bald fade, uh, mid or drop, um, wavelength of a one and a half on top. So first I'm gonna go in and create my initial guideline with my Babless Pro FX clippers. Um, and these are pretty gapped well, so you'll see the line that I make um, once I turn him to where it's visible. <clears throat> so first I make my initial guideline, bought it out, create that guideline so we can get a fade going. Um, and, and, and with this step process, it's just easier for me. Some people like to fade from the top to the bottom. I like to fade sometimes from the bottom to the top. Sometimes I fade top to bottom, but bottom to top is my best gig go, especially with a look like this. So as you see, I've created that initial guideline still to where we can keep his C cups visible. As you can see, they're naturally already there. Um, and that it still creates that look of, a, of an arch on the C cup. So once you created your initial guideline, creating that bald line to where you want it to be at that mid level, right? It is, you know, where his eyes crease at, it creates a better look. So as you can see now, it's a little bit more better visual on this side, um, creating that look just to get that mid bald fade look. And so now we're gonna go in with my one and a half closed, um, taking it down to the wavelength look. Um, he likes his hair kind of low, but not too low. Still keeping some on top, um, but it's a little darker than usual right now. So we're gonna take this down and get all that extra hair off of his head. Um, and initially, this will create for the look that we want to go for um, and achieving this haircut that he has inquired about. Ultimately, your goal is to make sure your client is satisfied with the look that you are giving them um, when they are inquiring upon a haircut service and coming to sit in your chair. I think those are the key vital points. So as you can see, I've gotten that all taken down, gotten it down to a wavelength. I am directionally cutting just because his hair, closer to his hairline grows in a certain direction. And as you can see in those corners right there on the left side, left corner, they're a little thin. And you'll see how I line that up and how I approach that going forward. But right now we're just cutting it to a good length a one and a half length um he likes keeps it low but uh it's not too low but you know still gives him room to grow to come back for a haircut within two to three weeks for his schedule and so once we get that kind of done we'll go into the next portion of this haircut um and so i kind of just I, I work in steps um i work in motions and it, it kind of works for me um whatever you do may work for you so like I always tell people, do what works for you, add a little something to your sauce, and then work with it. So I'm gonna take my Andy's T-liners. They, um, they are gapped, zero gapped, and they are ghost. So I've taken the front of the, the clipper casing and, and, and cut it open. Um, I had that done out there in California by Scissor Clinics when I was visiting California. Um, so we're gonna make that bald, super bald, so that it can have the transition from top to bottom and bottom to top all right so let's tap back in and we're gonna get this going so i'm gonna take my one and a half open and i'm going to debulk all those dark spots debulk every bit of it um that way from the top to the bottom everything is symmetrical within length um to darkness even down to the um, the texturized feel of the hair because it's gonna feel a certain way once it's at a certain length. So we're gonna get all that darkness out. And as you can see, I'm using my one and a half open. And I'm just going against the grain, getting all that, that dark weight out of there. Um, and initially that, that creates a better look when you're doing a fade because within the fade, you want it to look a certain way. So after I do that, I'm gonna take my one open and I'm gonna go against the grain and we're going to continue to lighten up where it is dark. That way it creates a better fade, um, but there's no dark lines within the fade, no heavy weight lines within the fade. Um, and as you can see on that camera side visual from the mirror, I have that one side going as well. 
and so it looks a little bit more done than this side but i'm showing you guys this side because this is the camera angle that i got and i wanted to really dive deep into how i craft these haircuts so as you can see i take my one open and i'm going down with the grain just to kind of hit over anything i may have missed going with it open um got a little spectator sliding through so that's pretty dope um so we're gonna keep going in and getting those dark spots clear um getting those taken care of making those look good so therefore it creates a better looking fade initially like i said guys the, the biggest ordeal here is that we want our fades to look good um, we want them to look symmetrical we want them to look well blended um, and that's the focus point of any haircut and every haircut that you may do okay so as you can see now i have switched clippers and i'm working with my babyless clippers um, i'm taking my jr here and i'm just balding out a little bit more underneath where i see a little bit more hair and as you can see i got the back of that fade um, exactly where it's supposed to be so it starts to drop right up under his acceptable bone acceptable bone i almost said that wrong y'all correct me if i'm wrong hit the comments and let me know so next we're going to work our way into the side of his fade just getting all those dark spots out the way and as you can see i'm using my one card and as i go into it excuse my big ass shoulder being in the way you can see that um it's lightening up as i go so i'm just using that one guard and i do have it sped up a little bit here but you guys visually can still see so we kind of readjust our angle the way his hair grows is at a like diagonal angle so i'm going to use the tip of my blade um and kind of just get those dark spots out the way that way it creates um a better you know more clearer well blended fade and so as I go through my motions, we'll go half, we'll go close. And as you can see, I work a little bit faster than most as this is sped up just a tad bit. But when I'm in my motion, I'm going. So we'll go from one open to halfway, midway, and then we'll work our way to close. So that way, every step of this fade is well blended and well done. Um, remember to brush to get all those dead hairs out the way. And so I'm gonna use my babless here. Um, I'm a big fan of those babless clippers sometimes the trimmers but more so of those clippers and so we're gonna blend that fade out get it nice and blended um, make sure that there's no heavy weight lines using the tip of our blade just kind of blend it in on out um, and you can go with the grain too to lay those hairs down as you can see that fade coming together so from the start to the finish as you can see the thing is just blending um, and that's the key portion man is just having a well blended well blended well visualized haircut um i think that for me is the bigger thing within making sure i provide a stellar service so as you can see that thing is just blended it's blending more so i'm going to take my half card and go open and just get some of that weight at the top of his hair the top of his crown on the side on the, um the sides of his crown to make sure they're laid down and there's no extra weight left over as you can see his hair spirals and it has that that kind of um that crown type hook so just making sure we follow within those guidelines is the key portion so i finished up on this fade we're about to go in and do some hairline work so tap back in okay guys we're back in motion so look i use a shave gel here to kind of just lay that hair down um, i usually use a conditioner or shampoo to lay it down but shave gel works just the same followed by a hot towel um, get all those dead hairs out the way, open up those pores, kind of cleanse that hairline. And so now we're going to work on our hairline. And if you know me, you know how I do. So first we're going to start with the OG glass, just to kind of crisp in and clean that hairline up, cleanse it up. It's got oil in there, but it also has got some solution to dry that hairline out how we need it to, so we can assess that hairline. Um, making sure you brush those the supplements are that product in and then followed by a heated blow dry will help um the hair lay down and help that uh that spray stick that glass as the og would call it um that's my favorite lining spray to date i don't really care for spritz don't really care for level three hairline it's good more so for applying like enhancements but i don't really care for it as such so 
As you guys know, if you know me, you know how I do my hairlines. We always start from the middle. I got caught up on my words, so um, as you know, I do my hairlines. We work our ways left to right from the middle, starting from the middle point. And usually me, I start with my left just because I am right-handed, so my right side is my more dominant side. My left side tends to be my weak side, so I had to focus on my weak points. And so I'll always go left to right with any client. And so as you can see, I'm forming this hairline using my um, my Rebel Stylecraft trimmers. And I truly love these trimmers. They they go crazy, man. They go real crazy. They're super sharp, super clean. Um, they do the job. And so, working myself left to right from the middle, we're gonna make sure that left side is nice and lined, nice and cleaned. Um, crispiness is the best part. Making sure that haircut is crispy and clean. Um, making sure his hairline, all his points from the top of his corners down to the bottom of his corners to his C-cups are all in symmetrical symmetry. Um, that's the key part when you're doing your hairlines. Hairlines are the vital part, I feel like, other than the fade. And fades are very important too, but making sure you have a clean, crispy hairline is the key portion when you're doing your client's hairline or his hair service. I think that's the most vital point, at least to me, that's key. Um, so I take my time, I switch my trimmers for different things. Um, and so for the side, I might use um, my JRL trimmers more than I use my Rebel S um, style craft trimmers just because of the way they hit. Um, and it creates more of a vertical line for those crossing bars or coming down vertical bars. So making sure that we got that, that top corner completely boxed in um, is the key part, kind of lining it with that hairline and then coming down on the hairline. Um, that's very key to me. As you can see, my client, we just, we chop, we chop it up, man. He's a good dude. Um, I truly appreciate him because he's always dropping knowledge on me too um, and just telling me to stay focused and keep going with my grind and, you know, kind of let things take its course and play out just because when you do that and leave it in God's hands, it'll do this. So you see, I got those vertical bars and those points to a T. Um, so we're gonna form that C cup, and I usually use the tip of that blade to start. Some people will start with the C cup going, you know, left up versus right up and down. But I, I kind of use that that right side of that tip of that 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 trimmer to achieve the look that I want, and then follow it up with the left side, just because, like I said, more dominantly, I'm a right-handed person, and that works better for me, um, trying to form the look that I want to look, I want on this client. Um, and for the look that he wants. So as you can see, we get that done, get it nice and symmetrical, get it nice and clean. I'm trying to get back dropping this YouTube content more. So if you guys got questions, remember, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, please, 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 please tap in. If you have any questions, be sure to comment. Um, this editing thing is not easy, especially doing a voiceover. This video is kind of long, but I think it's a good haircut to do for tutorials and for people who are trying to learn. So as you look at that haircut, you can just tell this side is finished, but now I'm gonna make sure everything is blended into one. I think those are the key points of a haircut sometimes, making sure that everything is blended into one, keeping everything symmetrical and in a um, orderly fashion, making sure that you're well blended. Um, those are key, key, key points, key points. So I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna pick back up here in a second. So me and my client, we're kicking, chopping it up, having a good time, laughing, just enjoying life, doing what we do. Like I said, this is one of my good clients, man. He's a great dude, and I truly am appreciative for him. So I'm going to jump back into this haircut here and mainly focus on the hairline. Um, of how I'm lining it and how I'm trying to get it to look crisp. So working on those vertical bars on this left side, um, if you're looking at it from how I'm looking at it, it'll be his left side and just making sure those are crispy, um, making sure they're straight up and down, perpendicular, looking good. Um, that's the key part when you're doing the hairline. Um, no other vital point than that. So, and I'm going back through it just because I want everything to be as perfect as possible. Not everything is gonna be perfect. It's not always gonna be exactly correct but I do my best 
to achieve um, that quality, close to perfect haircut, um, starting from the hairline down to the fade, to the service, um, everything. And so we're gonna go work on this right side now where it's thin, that right corner. As you can see, I'm gonna work back to my middle, use the middle as my guideline and kind of work straight across from that point. So boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna keep going across until I hit to that right point corner. Um, and from there, I will go on to the next process. So as you can see, I'm just making sure I'm following my guideline because you don't wanna rush, you don't have to rush. Um, and so it's kind of just making sure that you get everything how you want it. So going back to that corner, we're gonna work our way across. So boom, back to my middle. Now we're combing, we're gonna go straight across till we hit that point. As you see, it's still thin, but he's not an enhancements guy. So we're gonna make this look as crispy and clean and natural and lined up vertically, perfectly um, to his liking. And we're gonna make sure we use the tip of that blade to hit that corner. And then we're gonna work our way down and hit those vertical bars. Those vertical bars on his this side, which will be now, it looks like his left side, um, depending on how you're looking at it, uh, is a little bit easier to do than that, that right side. Um, and like I said, it just switches on the camera view when you're looking at it. But from this point of view, um, those vertical bars are easy and they come straight down as you can see. So now I'm at a C cup point. So I'm gonna do a C cup um, and I usually start, I try to line up that hairline to make sure everything is symmetrical um, and in, 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 in one lining with the other side. Um, and you see me here taking down this dark little heavy spot right there on this hairline with a one, not a half, one and a half, just because it's gonna lay the hair down some more and get all those other hairs that are hanging over out the way. Um, essentially, like I said, our goal is to make for the perfect haircut, um, the perfect hairline, making it crispy and clean. And that's, that's the main goal is, is I'm here to make sure my clients have crispy, clean haircuts. So um, from that point, we're going to simply line it, get it to a point to where it's symmetrical with the other side. So now I'm going back through my vertical bars, lining everything up using my JRL trimmers because sometimes, like I said, certain things hit a little bit better. And then we're gonna focus on that C cup. And so I've matched up the C cup points and I'm trying to get them lined up on each side so that it's evenly across, that they match. So that's the key point. So I start with my first initial point of the C cup, making it the arch. And then I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna use the end of that blade. Um, not the whole blade, but the end of that blade. I'm gonna use the end of that blade, stretch the skin, and I'm gonna meet the points together um, just to make a point. So like I said, right side is my dominant side, so it's usually a bit more easier. My left side, I have to f use a little bit more finesse and finagle, um, but still using my basis of how to cut hair. Um, making sure that everything is symmetrical in one lining all the way down from the haircut to the fade to the lining. Um, I want everything to be clean and crisp, no hanging, loose hairs, and that's, that's the goal. If we can each achieve that goal with your client, I promise you every client will leave and they will be satisfied, no doubt about it. So guys, you can look at this haircut and just tell, no doubt about it, I laced him, no doubt about it. It's a clean, clean, mid ball fade, wavelength. Um, and so now I'm just going back through, crossing my T's and dotting my I's. I cannot stress that enough when you're cutting hair and you're providing a service to your client that you make sure that you cross your T's and dot your I's. Details matter, that's how you get your tip, that's how you get your extra pay, that's how you get your next three, four clients. It's making sure that you do what you have to do to achieve a certain look that your clients are trying and looking for. Um, and I think that's key, you know? So I always go back through, I always cross my T's and I dot my eyes. And ultimately I make sure that this is, if not the best haircut I've ever done. And that's every client I give 110%. Um, I go above and beyond. I make sure everything is symmetrical, clean, within a clean, coarse look. Um, and I'm detailing here now, so 
as you can see, it was a little dark spot there. I hit it, bumped it out with the fade. Um, I'm gonna go back to and use the tip of that blade. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna clean up and lighten up where it's a little darker. That's just because you want it to have that clean fade look. Like I said, man, details matter. Going back through, we're gonna hit it with our shavers, make sure it's good and bald. Um, and the reason I use a shaver, most African-American men cannot take this, but he can. He can. Um, reason I know, because I've already been through this with my client. So that's what we're doing, man. And so boom, end of the haircut, end of the video, finished look. I really, really need y'all to do me a favor, like subscribe and comment, like subscribe and comment, and let me know what you think about this haircut. If it's trash, say so in the comments. If you like it, if it's fire, say so in the comments. Just let a brother know. I appreciate all the feedback. I'm trying to help you help me. 10 years in the game, I've been doing this. Let's go, let's get it. It's your boy D to the right cuts. And you know this.